Hi there, my name is Michelle, for those of you who I don't know. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm a yoga teacher and a personal trainer in the Boston area. And in this video, I'll be sharing with you a cardio and strength workout. Uh, this is gonna be a minimal uh, equipment. You just need a, a, a set of weights, uh, anywhere from five to 15 pounds. If you don't have any at home, you can get creative with water bottles, soup cans. So go ahead and clear yourself some space and get ready to sweat. Right. So we're gonna start with a little warm up. So just finding your feet about hip width apart, maybe even a little slightly wider, just go ahead and bend your knees. Bring your hands down to the floor and slowly walk your hands all the way out to a plank position. Hold it here, push the floor away, and then slowly walk your hands all the way back towards your feet. Let your knees bend a little bit. Stand all the way up, inhale, reach your arms up, big stretch up, and then again, exhale, fold. You get a nice stretch along the back of your legs, walking your hands out. Those hands under your shoulders, push the floor away. Pull the navel back towards the spine, and then nice and steady, walk your hands back. Let your knees bend. Sweep the arms up. And exhale, fold. Hinging from the hips, little bend in the knees, and walk your hands out. As you walk one hand at a time, try to create stability so you're not rocking your hips and shoulders side to side, but you're trying to keep your shoulders and hips nice and stable, nice and even. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up. And then again, fold. I love this because I get to get a nice stretch along the back of the legs. And then really pushing the floor away, taking it slow as you come forward. And taking it slow, walking one hand at a time. Without that rocking, little bend in the knees. Sweep your arms up, big inhale. Last one. We're going to come down to that plank position. We're going to hold our plank. Lining your shoulders up over your wrist. And let your feet be about hips width apart, maybe even a little bit wider. And then we're gonna press the hips up and back towards a down dog position, creating that nice long spine. Just gonna turn to the side so you can get a better view here. You wanna tilt your tail towards the sky, just pedal your heels. Bending one knee as you stretch the opposite heel to the floor. And just keep pedaling the heels. Getting a good stretch across the sole of the foot. Down along the calf muscle. Right, and you can do this workout with or without shoes. You can see I prefer no shoes. That way I can get a nice stretch down along my feet. All right. Let's slowly step your right foot. You're gonna shift your shoulders forward, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand or close up to it as you can. And then inhale, reach your right arm up. So option here, you can keep your left knee lifted or you can lower your knee down to the ground. Your choice, big inhale as you reach your arm up, and then you're gonna bring that elbow down, that right shin down to your ankle, back up to the knee, and then reach it back up to the sky. I see you feel that nice twist as you pull it all the way down, and then inhale, reach it all the way up. Great, three more, exhale. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale. Inhale. Reach, last one. The yoga teacher always like to move with the breath. Reach your arm up, place your hand back underneath your shoulder and step back towards your downward facing dog. Second side, you're gonna step that left foot to the outside of the left hand, maybe even a little bit behind the hand. All right, option to keep the knee lifted or lower the knee to the ground. Left arm reaches up towards the sky as you open Exhale, twist, slide that elbow down the leg, up the shin, and reach it back up. Feel the navel hugging in towards the spine, and really pressing through that right hand, especially if you're right up onto the toes here. And a nice stretch through the, hand, the front of the hips, the hip flexors. Let's do one more here, nice and slow. Stay with your breath, inhale, reach it up. Great, place your hand back underneath your shoulder. You're gonna step your right foot to the outside of your right hand, coming into a squat. Press through your feet and come up. And right, now we're gonna move through some squats here. Feet are just a bit outside your hips, toes very slightly turning out. They're 
basically straight ahead, but just that slight turn, right? And as you work into the squat, the first few squats you warm up, you might not go as low. So just take your time shifting those hips way back and down. All right, so as if you're reaching your hips back to close the door. You reach the arms forward, you keep your chest up, and then really start starting to think of that core nice and tight, your abdominal muscles pulling in, think of pull the navel to the spine, pull those ribs in and down, now as you're warmed up, you might feel yourself getting a little bit lower into that squat. See if you can get those hips down to about knee level. But always being mindful of working within your own range of movement, right? Try to press down through the heel, as well as pressing down through the pinky toe and the big toe. Getting that nice trifecta through the foot, pressing nice and even down through your feet. Last one. All right, we'll stand all the way up. Step your feet together to about hips width apart. We'll step your right foot back, reach your right arm up. Reach over to the left, feel that nice stretch to the side body. And then switch, reaching that left arm up, reach over towards the right. Nice, come back to the center. Hands to your hips, step back to the front of your mat. Second side, left foot steps back. Reach your left arm up. I like to take my hand across. I feel that nice stretch here from that hip up through the ribs. Second side. It's okay if you're a little wiggly and wobbly. Those are your stabilizers, checking you're into balance. Hands to your hips. Step back to the front. One more to each side. Back to that right leg. Reach your right arm up. Reach it over. Switch. Reach. Hands to hips. Step it up. Left foot steps back, left arm reaches up. Reach it over, switch, and reach. Hands to your hips, step it forward. Nice work, we'll step our feet nice and wide. Toes pointing straight ahead, maybe slightly out. We're gonna bend your right knee, reach your hips back, arms forward. So that lateral lunge, I want you to start to press into your feet. So you go to the left, Right leg is straight. Keep tracking the knee right over the toe. We're gonna move nice and slow here. Get into that nice stretch. Oh, this feels good. Again, we're pressing nice and even off the feet. I need that nice trifecta, right? Heel, big toe, pinky toe, pressing down. Last one, and we'll come back up. Let's wiggle those feet all the way back underneath us. <sighs> Feeling nice and warmed up and ready to go. So first block is uh, a, a strength circuit. We're gonna be doing uh, four exercises. We're gonna be doing 10 reps each. So go ahead and grab your weights. <sighs> now I only have five pounds at home. But, you know, going a little heavier if you can, if you like, you go for it. You can know anywhere to up to 15 pounds here. All right, so this first one, we're going to get right into the legs. So taking your feet a little outside of your hips for a squat. Toes very slightly turning out. Bring those weights up to your shoulders. Elbows come underneath you. And really brace your core nice and tight by pulling the navel back to the spine and locking those ribs in and down. Keep your chest up. We're going to go down nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Feel that pressure as you hold at the bottom and then press it up. So no rush here. Coming down nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Press it up. Nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Pressing it up. Squeeze your glutes. Nice and slow. Hips back and down. Keep that core tight. Press the heels and come up, all right? You got it. We always wanna move through these fast, but when you take it nice and slow, we get to work on all the muscles, the fast twitch muscles, the slow twitch muscles. Squeeze to press it up. Nice, we got three more. Whew. Feel that body heat moving up, even though we're moving slow here. 
Bring in the weights, get the body to work hard, get into these bigger muscle groups. This makes the body temperature go up. Press it up, let's do one more. Nice and slow all the way down. Press up and squeeze, release down. Okay, walk those feet back underneath your hips. I'm gonna to turn to give you that side view here. So just watch me for a moment. We're gonna be doing a row. And what's most important in this row is that our back is flat. We don't want any rounding in the back, right? Maybe your tail tucks. We don't want too much of a sway in the back for those of you who may be more flexible in the back. We want a flat back, a mat flexible back. So I have to really think of pulling my ribs towards the back of the body and hugging the navel to the spine. This is gonna help me to protect my low back. A slight bend in the knees, and we're gonna do this row nice and easy. We'll pull that weight up nice and slow, I mean, nice and fast, and then we're gonna lower it slow for four, three, two, one. Pull it up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and slow it all the way down. Okay, that nice eccentric movement, all right? Squeeze it up. No rush to drop it down. We resist all the way down. Pull it up, pinch the shoulder blades together, slow it down. All right, you're with me here now. Pull that belly in tight, protect that low back. Pull it up, nice and slow. Four, three, two, one. Pull it up, squeeze. Lower it down, four, three, two, one. Two more, squeeze, nice, lower. Oh, feel that work. Squeeze, and lower, nice work. Stand it all the way up. Nice work, next one we're gonna be doing is a single leg dead row. So again, watch me for this first one. Your feet are hip width apart. I'm giving that side view. I'm going to bring those weights towards the front of me. Arms, that weights just hang into the arms. You want to lift your chest nice and proud. So proud chest here. As you slowly tip from the hips, your right leg is going to go back. Right? As you hinge from the hips, you come forward flat back. And then as you slowly come up, you might either float the foot or bring the toe to the floor for balance. And then again, you lower. So come on in and enjoy me. I'm gonna focus on just this right leg. And don't worry about how low you go. If you come back here and you need a little bit of extra stability for bounce, you can always drop your toe to the floor. But what I want to have here that's most important is that you're not rounding or swaying in the back. The back is nice and flat. And here we're just gonna work in a nice even tempo. Nice and slow, feeling the body, find the balance. Now right now that shape, that, that standing leg, the foot is shaking all over the place. So I'm really trying to create that nice even pressure through the foot, that trifecta, feeling the heel pressing down, the big toe pressing down, and the pinky toe pressing down. All right, and you can really start to feel that standing leg working, trying to keep the hips and the shoulders square to the floor. One more on this side. Squeeze as you come up. You can feel that left hip work. And then we'll switch. Second side, nice and slow. Send that left leg back as you tip forward. And imagine you're lowering that weight down towards your toes. So not underneath your shoulders way out here, but closer down towards your feet. Your feet. Right, again, nice even pressure through that right standing leg. Try to keep those hips and shoulders squaring forward. Flat, long back. How are we doing there at home? I'm feeling a little wiggly and wobbly like me today. Every day is different. Whew. But it's good for us to really test our balance. This works those muscles right along the back of the body. All right, last one, right along the hips. Nice work. All right, one more exercise in this block here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and sit on down. Bend your knees, you're gonna bring your weights to the top of your knees, 
and then lay on back. All right, you're gonna be nice and flat here on your back. Your elbows are at about a 45 degree angle. And your feet are hip width apart, lining your knees up over your hips. So a few options to listen for here. So you can lift your hips up here in this bridge, squeezing your glutes, and then we're gonna alternate pressing your arms. Your right arm reaches up first, then you lower the right elbow all the way to the floor, and then the left elbow reaches up, right? So one option is just to keep the hips lifted the whole time, right? But if that gets too much for you, you can always lower the hips as you lower the arm, and then lift the arm as you press the hips. All right, if you're not already joining me here, once you get the idea, you can start to work with me pressing alternate arms up. Again, option to keep the hips lifted or lift and lower the hips, your choice. Wherever you are, try to squeeze those glutes, right? So you activate the muscles along the back of the body and then really controlling that weight as you push it up and then slowly controlling it as you come down so it doesn't just bang down towards the floor. There's a nice even tempo. Thinking of up for two and down for two. Ease it up for two and down for two. No rush. The second block is gonna be focused more on cardio and moving faster. So try not to rush it here, but really just be mindful of, of the muscles really starting to engage into your body. Ooh, one more, we're gonna finish with that left arm reaching up. Lower the hips down, right? And then we're gonna come back on up again. So we're starting right at the very beginning of this strength block again. We're gonna find those squats. Bring those weights up to your shoulders, feet a little bit outside your hips. Going down for two, three, four, press it up. Nice, down, two, three, four, press it up. Squeezing, yeah, nice and slow, find that resistance, press it up. No rush here. All right, see how low you can go. As this gets easier, maybe you get those hips way down, right? Nice work. Nice and slow. Press it to the top. Right, nice and slow. Press it to the top. Good work, we're almost there. Stay with me, we got three more. Push it up, down, two, three, four. Press it up. One more, you got it, how low can you go? Get those hips back and down, tracking right over the heel. Press it up and squeeze, nice work. All right, now we're ready for the row. Feet hip width apart, hinging right from the hip crease. Little slight bend in the knees. Let those weights come right in front of your knees. Pull the belly in tight, pull the shoulder blades together, sliding the shoulders away from your ears. You ready? Let's go ahead and pull it up. Squeeze and slow all the way down, resisting all the way down. Squeeze, pull, slow, no rush. Three. Nice. Pinching the shoulder blades together. You should feel your arms right by your ribs, pinching right by the sides of your body. Point the elbows to the back of the room. Keep your chest lifted. Check in, are you tight in your core? Especially as we get towards the end here, you start to feel some fatigue here in the body. Oftentimes, we feel it in the back, right? So again, as you pull the belly back towards the spine, pulling the belly to the back of the body, that's where you're gonna start to really bring that strength into the back. All right, we got one more here. Squeeze, hold, slow, two, three, Four. Nice work. Whew. How are you feeling? All right. Next one. You remember this one, right? Single leg deadlift. Starting with that right leg. Stand up nice and tall. Bring those weights towards the front of your thighs. 
Proud lift through the chest, core is tight. A little soft bend in the knee, micro bend in the knee, as you tip from the hips. And again, remember, it's not about how low you go. We're not looking for speed, just a nice even tempo. Thinking of two as you go back, one, two as you come forward. So I always want you to do you and really think about your body and where your energy is at today. All right, checking in with that balance. Try to keep both hips and shoulders squaring towards the floor. Try not to let that right hip lift as you reach that right leg back. All right, sometimes it likes to flare open. I want you to keep that right hip down. Think of turning that right pinky toe to the floor. Then flat back. Great, one more on this right side. Stay with me, stay with me. Woo. Second side. All right, ready to send that left leg back. Tipping from the hip. Ooh, a little wiggle, a little wobble. It always feels like for me, for the first couple movements here, my body's really finding it. It's a little shaky. However, it's the second round, so the body is really smart. It's very smart. Sometimes it's really good at finding the easy way out and cheating. And then you're connecting that body and mind, really feeling what is happening. Where is the weight shifting around in your foot? All right? Does you, do you favor your outer edge of your foot or your inner edge of your foot? It's almost for a whole nother class, <laughs> all focused on the feet. That was my focus for my teacher training thesis all about the feet. Last one. All right, nice work. Feeling those hips nice and strong, glutes nice and strong, hamstrings nice and strong. All right, let's come down to the floor. So sit down, bring the weights to the front of your knees, and sit on back. All right, get those elbows to the 45 degree angle. Really think of pulling those shoulder blades in and down the back. When you're ready, lift the hips towards your bridge, and we'll begin right and left. Remember your options. You can keep the hips lifted, or you can lift and lower the hips. We're finding that even pressure down through the feet. As you press down into the heels, really dig into the heels and squeeze your glutes. Feel the hamstring working. I love this, it's a full body. Really squeezing those pectoral muscles as you press it up again, nice and slow all the way up. Even tempo going up for two and down for two. All right, stay with me. Last one, finishing with that left arm reaching. Lower that arm down. Release those hips down. Let's go ahead and find our way up. Okay, nice work. Good little break here before our next block, our cardio block. Here we'll be doing uh, 30 second intervals with a short break in between. Ah, good little sip of water. Five exercises. All right, this is where you're really gonna stay with me. You're gonna feel that body heat rise up. Try to listen to the options as I give them. Do what's right for your body. Uh, you're gonna grab your weights for this next, this first one. This is gonna be a squat press with a little rotation. So feet just a little outside your hips. You're gonna squat. You're gonna press that right arm across. You can pivot on your right foot. Come back down through your squat. Second side twist. All right, you're with me? So now you know what we're gonna do. I'm gonna check the clock. We're gonna start now. Whew. 30 seconds, find your form first. You know, first round, you're feeling out the exercise, the movement, try to get that full extension, and you can feel that push from your core, so keep the belly tight, right? If we're always engaging our core, we're always working it. We're always working that core. Last three, two, and one. Ooh, a little break. 
All right, next exercise here. You ready? This is gonna be a step back lunge. So option, you could keep your weights at your shoulders or you can do it with no weights at all. First option, you step that right foot back, step it forward, step your left foot back, step it forward. Right, if you wanna get a little bit more of a cardio kick, I like to put my weights down for this one, keeping my hands up by my chest, and we go back and doing a jump step, a jump switch. All right, you with me? Let's do it in three, two, one. You do you. Don't forget to breathe, especially as you get into these cardio rounds. Woo. Oh, I kind of wish I was doing the step back, but this is feeling good. Woo. Stay with it, stay with it. In the last 10 seconds, you got to stay with your form. Chest up, belly tight for three, two, and one. Woo. All right. Nice work. Sometimes I regret it when I first get started. And then as I get going, I feel really good about myself. Next one is a skater. Check your options. Option one, you can step it back. Again, you can use those weights in your hands if you like for this version. If you're doing the step back, if you want to do that cardio, you're going to hop. You know, you can get all fancy with your arms. Are you ready? Set, go. Woo. If you're with me and you're going for the jump, try to find that explosion going up and over. Pretend there's something you're really leaping over nice and high. Woo. Over halfway there. I find swinging my arms helps me get that energy I need to lift and get low, bend the knee, keep the knee tracking with the toes, and down, Woo. Nice work. All right, next exercise. I'll show it to you first, All right? And then you can join in. You're gonna come into a push-up position, options, right? You can do this on your knees. Make sure your hips are forward, but you're not drooping, you're staying nice and strong in your core. Next option. Is up on the toes, right? If you're up on the toes, get those feet uh, nice and wide. Feet a little bit wider than hips width apart. And then we're gonna pull the weight up and down, up and down. Squeeze, Whew. right? If you're down on those knees, you got it, right? Trying to keep stability, imagining you're balancing your favorite drink on your back. So try not to let the hips or the shoulders rock. So we're really using our core here. Whew. Almost done. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Whew. All right, some iso abs. We're isolating the muscle. We're holding this pose. Again, option, option one, dead bug preparation. Knees over hips, pulling core and navel back to the spine. Option two, you extend those legs out. Right, your legs could be high or low. Chest and shoulders up, reaching towards your, towards your feet. Option three, arms reaching back behind you. Right, each one is kind of a increase. You ready to hold this for 30 seconds? Let's do it. All right, I'm picking this one here. Okay, I'm gonna pull my ribs in and tight, pull the navel back towards your spine, wherever you are, you wanna get that back pulling towards the floor. All right, this is a good option here if you have neck issues, if your neck feels tense, all right? I know some of you out there, some of my clients out there, you know, doing crunches doesn't feel good for their neck and shoulders and ends up causing problems somewhere else. We're almost there. Squeeze, pull the belly in nice and tight for three, two, one, all right. Rock it up. Next round. All right, we're starting right at the beginning. So good work, everyone. We're gonna keep that energy going. Grab your weights, squat, press with rotation. Feet outside hips. We squat and reach. We're beginning right now. Join me. Get right into it. How low can you go? Twist, push through, and really send that weight. Explode it and press it. Maybe you're going a little faster this round. Your body knows what to do. Find whatever that challenge is for you today. 
Where are you at today? Nice work, last three, two, and one. Nice work, quick break, you know what's next. So step back, lunge, jump to lunge. With or without your weights, you do you, we begin now. Yeah, right now. You with me? I'm with you. Let's get through this together. Big breath here, you see. Can barely talk now, that's good. You wanna get winded. Almost there, oh my legs are gonna fall off, but I know they won't for three, two, and one. Rest, quick rest, quick rest. We're gonna get ready for those skater lateral lunges again. You can do it with a step. That can be a good option for knees. Right, are you with me? Are you exploding? Because we're going now, right? Swing your arms. Keep it up wherever you are, chest is up, core is tight. Whew. 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 Are you as winded as I am? I hope so. That means I'm doing my job right. Start it off nice and easy. In like a lamb, out like a lion. But no worry, I got some lovely stretches coming up. And finishing in three, two, one, and all you out there like, is she watching the clock? Yes, all right, we're down for the plank. Again, knees or toes, push and pull. You got it? I got it, stay with me, stay with me. Whew. Core's nice and tight. Okay, what's your favorite beverage? All right. Oh. Excellent. I like a good ginger beer. It's become my favorite. Mix it with a little vodka. <laughs> All right, even better. Stay with me. Don't mix, don't spill that drink. Whew. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Release. All right, ISO abs. Remember your options. Dead bug prep. I'm gonna find option three here. Reaching, lifting, belly on tight. My ribs are pulling back. As they look down at my belly, it's not pooching forward, it's pulling back. Navel pulls back towards your spine. All this is important to find that control in your body. Almost there, last five, four, three, Two, one. Oh, you with me for one more round? Yeah, you probably thought we were only doing two because that's what we did in the first strength round. But in this round, we're gonna do three. Grab those weights, squat, press. Ready, set, go. Squat and press. Find that rotation, control. Push it all the way up. Extend that arm, reaching it across. Go as fast or slow. This is good for you. Find your tempo. This is good for our lungs. Feel the sweat. Nice work. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, what do I do next? We're doing the lunge. Hop lunge or stepping back, option with or without weights. You ready? Here we go. I'm gonna do the step back. All right. You can hear me, I'm a little winded. You know, in a moment here, I'm gonna feel myself starting to catch my breath and I'm gonna finish the last 15 seconds with a hop. Ready? Last 15, where you at? Stay with it, good form, chest up, core tight. You got it. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Ah. Skate or lunge, lateral lunge, stepping or hopping. All right, you with me? Three, two, one, here we go. I'm gonna step it with you. 
trying to get myself warmed up. I'm gonna go for this strong. I'm gonna hop it. Let her go. Hop. Hop. You find your tempo. We're here. For the last five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Excellent. Ready for that renegade row? That's what they call this one here. Right? You're in your plank position. Find your options. Really squeeze. Squeeze every little muscle in nice and tight. Let's begin that row. Pull the elbows right up by your ribs. I'm balancing that precious ginger beer on my back. Whatever motivates you, right? Cocktail, a coffee. Woo. Feeling that sweat, anyone? You're almost there. Last five, four, three, two, and one. For those exercises, this ISO abs doesn't seem so bad, right? It's really like this active rest. Get yourself set up. You ready? And find your ISO abs. Choose your option. Squeeze those legs together. If they're straight, squeeze those heels. Spread the toes, lift the chest. Pull those shoulder blades up off the floor. Pull the navel to the spine. You got it. Over halfway there. Don't forget to breathe. That always feels so good. Fast five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. You can hug those knees into your chest. Let those knees come a little wider than your hips. Right along your ribs, try to pull your knees up toward your shoulders. Rock a little side to side. Whew. Are you ready to stretch? I know I am. Oh, all right. Let's rock our way up towards the seat. And we're gonna come into this nice chill position here. Your feet are a little bit wider than hips width apart. All right, hands back behind you. And then we're gonna rock those knees side to side. Call this windshield wiper. Rocking those knees. You can feel your hips rocking with you. So just let the whole body move. <sighs> Feels so good, job well done. This is like the reward, the gift at the end, the prize at the end. All right, next time you rock your knees over towards the right, you're gonna lower the knees to the floor, and then you're gonna lift your hips up and turn your torso over towards that right leg and that right shin is parallel, and you can see this left leg right by your side, the toe points up or back, right? And you might not land quite even here, right? If you find you're really cattywampus, this isn't working for you, you can straighten your left leg out towards the side, all right? So this is good for all of you who are tight in your hips. This means you need to really work those hips. All right, if you wanna go a little deeper, you're gonna fold over that right leg. Make sure you're finding some nice deep breaths here. This always feels so good after all that hard work. Stay here. I want you to just connect with three more breaths. Just close your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Slow exhale. And we'll slowly, slowly come up. We're gonna rock our legs back to the center. And then again, just windshield wiper the knees. And let the hips really rock with you, move with you. All right, this is gonna massage and release tension down into those glutes. So really kind of press your butt muscles down into the floor. Those are your glutes, kind of smush them around. And the next time you go over towards the left, we're gonna to come towards that hurdler on the left. So you're gonna turn your torso, you're gonna kind of lift and turn your hips to face towards that left shin, right toes to turn back. 
And again, the site's gonna feel really different. Maybe it's easier, maybe it's a lot harder, right? Choose your option if you need to straighten your right leg out, you can straighten your right leg out towards the side, right? If you're here and you want more sensation, you're gonna come forward with me. And we slow down and we connect with the breath. I hope you'll join me in some of my yoga classes. I offer challenging power yoga and, and nice gentle yoga and restorative yoga. And, the, and yoga is a really great complement to these big workouts and they're perfect. Yoga can be really perfect, especially the gentle and the restorative yoga for those rest days more of those stress days. All right, so stay here, one more good breath. Close your eyes and just concentrate on the breath, inhaling through the nose. Slow exhale out the mouth. And then we'll slowly come back up, turn back forward, right? And then finding that squat position now, a little different this time. This is kind of a different approach. I want you to try to keep both sitting bones on the floor and you're gonna take your right knee and you're gonna reach your right knee towards you know the front of your mat kind of the front of the hip I'm gonna to try to keep my right hip my right sit bone down so when I do that my knee only comes to about here you know maybe yours is a little higher maybe it doesn't even look like too much to you but you should be feeling this is working that internal rotation of the hips for some of us, internal rotation is easy peasy. For others, internal rotation is difficult, really difficult, right? For me, this is more difficult. I have more external rotation in my hips. It's kind of like you're on one camp or the other. So I keep kind of working in this order. The second side, when you're ready, bring that left knee forward and try to keep the hip ground and my hip popped up. So really mindfulness as keeping that left sit bone down onto the floor. Don't feel that internal rotation. It's kind of right along the crease, that inner crease of your hip, right? Sometimes I kind of stick my thumb right down into the crease of my hips and I can feel that kind of almost like those little tight ropes in there. I'm gonna find some deep breaths because when you take those deep breaths, right, this moves into your diaphragm here and your diaphragm is connected to so many muscles. But I want you to think about that hip flexor muscle that moves right down here. That comes and it sweeps right up into that diaphragm. So that's why the breath is so important to us, right? We can get really locked up. Ooh, I can feel my hip just opening slowly. All right, now we're gonna draw the soles of the feet together. You're gonna sit up tall. <clears throat> and now you feel that external rotation of those hips out. This is my easy side. Some of you might be kind of stuck here like this, right? But just do your best. You're going to start to tip your hips or release your head forward, right? If you're like way up here and you're super tight, you can take your fingertips behind you. And I want you to think of pulling your tail back and kind of rocking your hips forward, right? Just, just do your best because I know for some of you who are tight here, this is like, can seem like an impossible kind of task to do or movement to do, right? Some of you will bite be down here. You do you. And remember, we'll connect with the breath. Can you find two full breaths here? Slowly roll your way up. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and stretch our legs straight out in front of us. Your legs are together. I like to clear the flesh from underneath my sitting bones so I'm nice and even. If you're really tight in your hamstrings, I want you to bend your knees. Maybe you've got to bend your knees a lot. We want to find the hinge at the hips so just to kind of give you that side view. So again, if you're here and you're finding like, like you're kind of stuck in this position and, and your legs are already shaking and there's a lot of tension, bend the knees. This is going to release a valve in your low back. This is important for finding this stretch that's healthy for your whole back, right? If you have issues with your back, tenderness in your back, a lot of times it's because you have tight hamstrings, 
right? Sometimes they're inner, under active tight hips, right? We've got to always finish with this work. It is so important. All right, and then you can just go ahead and fold forward. So again, if your knees are bent, you might be like this. Some of you with your legs straight, the more flexible ones can release a little bit more in this direction, finding the stretch and the sensation along the low back, down along the back of the legs are gonna be pretty obvious. Try to let the head be heavy, releasing the chin toward your chest and just close your eyes. Again, find a nice deep breath in. Slow breath out. And then we'll slowly, slowly roll our way up. And I wanted to just thank you all so much for your time and joining me. Thank you for your effort, your hard work. Uh, and I hope to see you again. Take care. Bye-bye now.